Welcome to the Truth Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Several weeks ago, we began reporting on the fake CNN news reports coming out of London after the horrible terrorist attacks there. In particular, we did a full show on the 100% created Muslim Mothers March Against Terror that was completely created by CNN and broadcast worldwide. You would think, after the outcry against fake news on CNN, they would have cleaned up their act. But that would have been bad for ratings, wouldn't it? Today on The Truth Report, we will discuss the truth behind CNN's continued mission to create news where none exists. Let's start with what CNN did in London. You remember the story, don't you? Hundreds of Muslim mothers demonstrating en masse against radical Islam, maybe as many as 1,000. But the truth was, reported by somebody who happened to walk by and captured the entire stage story on his camera phone, proving that CNN quite simply made up the entire story. There were just a handful of the mothers who were given signs by CNN, told where to stand, and the reporter is seen narrating as if there are thousands of ladies carrying signs in the London street that was empty. In truth, there were just eight women arranged by the CNN reporter to fit her narrative. Now we know more about fake news regarding CNN, and this time it's here at home in the United States. Three CNN employees handed in their forced resignations over a retracted story linking President Trump to Russia. The article was removed from CNN.com after the network decided it could no longer stand by its own reporting. Quote, in the aftermath of the retraction of a story published on CNN.com, CNN has accepted the resignation of the employees involved in the story's publication. Unquote. According to a network spokesman said in a statement recently, citing a single unnamed source, the story had reported that Congress was investigating a Russian investment fund with ties to Trump officials. For your information, the story was completely made up. How bad has it gotten at CNN? Top management has now announced that no more stories about Russia could run unless they had personal approval from the big bosses at CNN. That's because of the fake and now retracted story that falsely linked Trump supporter Anthony Scaramucci to a Russian investment fund run by a bank controlled literally by the Kremlin. It's a made-up story. So the CNN narrative is basically this. Trump is the devil. All stories must fit that narrative. Reporters and producers know the bosses want to see these stories on Trump, and so the news is either found and reported or just simply made up based on unnamed sources who are not identified. It would have been very easy to have had this story verified and then killed before it was aired. If it was this easy for Scaramucci to demonstrate after the fact that the story was not true and was made up, it would have been very easy for CNN to check with him beforehand, if they had wanted to. He's very locatable every day. Now comes an even bigger admission by a key CNN employee that they are actively making up the news. And now I will tell you why they are doing it. CNN producer John Bonnefeld made the brazen admission of the network's absence of journalistic bona fides to an undercover reporter from Project Veritas. It is captured on secret video cam. Then why is CNN constantly like, Russia this, Russia that? Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings? Our ratings are incredible right now. But honestly, you'd, you'd think the whole Russia shit is just like bullshit. Could be bullshit. I mean, we, it's mostly bullshit right now. Like, we don't have any big giant proof. I just feel like they don't really have it, but they they want to keep digging. Mm -hmm. And so I think the president is probably right to say, like, look, you are witch hunting me. Like, you have no smoking gun. You have no real proof. And the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, Good job, everybody, covering the climate accords. 
but we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. <laughs> this is what Project Veritas says. He not only gave us a tour of CNN's main newsroom, he gave us a window into the editorial bias and anti-Trump agenda of the organization, reporter James O'Keefe says as he narrates the video, and he goes on. Our goal here is to expose the real motivations behind the decision-making process at our dominant media corporations. Fake news. One story has monopolized President Trump in office like no other, especially on CNN. Russia. In fact, since the inauguration, CNN has mentioned Russia on their air nearly 16,000 times. So we sent our undercover reporters inside CNN to determine why and determine if CNN even believes if the story is even real. Referring to the Trump-Russian connections, Bonnefeld, the producer at CNN, says, could be bullshit. I mean, it's mostly bullshit right now. Like, we don't have any giant proof, so I just feel like they, referring to CNN, producers and reporters really don't have it, but they want to keep digging. So I think the president is probably right to say, look, you are witch hunting me. You have no smoking gun. You have no real proof. I haven't seen any good evidence to show the president committed a crime. But CNN is doggedly pursuing the fanciful Russian story because those at the top of the network are focused on ratings, he says. Wow. This is on the videotape. So now, here is the why. Why are they pushing out made-up stories? You ready? Quote, our ratings are incredible right now, Bonnefeld says. And the fact is, CNN just had its most watched first quarter in 14 years, both in the key demo and in total viewers. Bonnefeld, the producer, continues, still on tape, quote, President Trump rolled out the climate accords, and for a day and a half, we covered the climate accords. And then the CEO of CNN, Jeff Zucker, said in our internal meeting, good job, everybody, covering the climate accords, but we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. And he continues. So even at the climate accords, he was like a day or so, it's okay, but we're moving back to Russia. It's a business. And that's the quote. By the way, the facts we just reviewed do not include the constant references to how bad Trump is, which is run constantly on CNN. Obviously, the CNN bias is great for ratings, and the fake news creating the business is not hurting the CNN checkbook. Stay in touch, America. This CNN story is not going away anytime soon. You can write to me directly by sending me an email to barry at americantruthproject.org and go to our website where you can sign up to be on our mailing list so you never miss an important episode. You can handle the truth, and we intend to bring it to you. I'm Barry Newsbaum.